I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Man, she not in speech with nothing around you. Hey, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you got desires. I know, I know. Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan. The company we'll be working with today is BGM Girl Hair. Let's look at the goodies inside. They sent me this Mongolian Deep Wave 26 inch 180% density HD 13 by 4 lace front wig. That was a mouthful. So y'all already know I want to show you like the inside construction of the wig. This is a full 13 by 4. You can do deep side parts as well as middle parts. The lace is very thin, giving very much where is the lace. And the knots were regular. It does come pre-plugged as well, as you can see. This wig did give me some shedding, but that is to be expected with textured hair. You know, it's not just gone. Not shit. <laughs> but, you know, just keeping it realistic. So, of course, for today, we're going to be doing this deep wine, you know, like seductive red color. So, y'all already know we finna do the bleach bath. You know, you're going to dump in your bleach, dump in your developer. You don't have to use 50, but, baby, 50 is all I know. I ain't got time. I'm very lazy and I'm very impatient, baby. I need that 50 every time. I mixed that 50, that powder, and some hot water from the Fox and mixed it together. I can't tell you the measurements because, baby, I never measure it. I just do what I feel is enough. And then you're going to dunk that wig in. Now, after you dunk that wig in, do that, you do not stop there. You have to brush this mixture through. If you don't, you're going to have some spots in the wig that are going to stay black because you're not thoroughly getting the product everywhere on the wig. Make sure you brush it through. Make sure you open up the wig in the back, get the bottom, get the underneath. Make sure you're getting this mixture everywhere. That way you have a even bleach. I cannot stand splotchiness. That is like such a pet peeve of mine. Don't mind Mink on, um, you know, we was on FaceTime. Y'all know I always be on FaceTime while I'm doing my work. It just makes it go by quicker. And don't be talking about my dirty counter either. Yes, I know it's dirty. I be doing all my prep work with all these wigs at home. You know, I have to slay the girls, you know. So don't be talking about your boy because I know y'all do. You know, of course, we're using a Dawn dish detergent. Don't ask no questions. Just use it. Y'all already should know. I already put y'all on to that. Like, come on. Dawn dish detergent is that thing. So the two colors I mixed together were Adore Burgundy Envy and Adore Rich Amber. I mixed both fully equally. I did end up using four bottles, which means I used two Burgundy Envies and two Rich Ambers. I mixed them all together evenly. And that's how you get your popping deep wine red color. Um, Y'all know I apply it to the frontal with a comb just to make sure I don't get um, color on the lace and not too much on the knots. But y'all, it was kind of hard because I ain't did this in a while on camera. So I still ended up getting like the color on the knots. And you'll see my knots were red instead of blonde, like how I like them. And that kind of like messed up the install just a little bit. But I still finessed it and, you know, came up with a good product. So, you know, but I'll show y'all that in the end. But, you know, just apply it, you know, with your comb precisely on the roots and then you know for the back just slapping on because that doesn't matter it's tracks back there I let this process about two hours just to make sure you know that color grabbed onto those strands. And now I'm rinsing it out with cool water. Do not rinse your wig out with hot water after you've colored it. You're gonna dull your color out and you could possibly stain your lace because you know it's giving very much the watercolor method with running water. So yeah, don't do that. Rinse your, rinse your, always rinse your color out with cool water because you wanna seal that color into the cuticle, okay? Period. Then after I do that, I want to hit it with some conditioner. I didn't have my silicone mix. Well, I actually did have my silicone mix. It was in my guest bedroom, but child, I didn't feel like walking all the way back there. So I just had my uh, Tresemme on my counter. So that's what I use. You know, I'm very much so lazy, but you know, conditioner is conditioner, girl. Just slap it on there, brush it through, and rinse that out as well with cool water.
And this is the color after I let it air dry, um, after I let the wig air dry overnight on my balcony. This is the color in the sunlight. As you can see, it's really vibrant. And it's also vibrant, you know, and natural light as well. But it's, it's so seductive to me because, like, from certain lights, it's like, girl, is your hair red or is your hair black? But, you know, you know, it just sparks attention. I like colors like that, you know. But let me just stop rambling. <laughs> I went ahead and um, applied the wig on her head. Where we're just um, fitting on her head right now. I did go ahead off camera and pluck the living death out of this wig. Um, it didn't even require much plucking, but I knew my um, my muse. She has a very low hairline, and you have to pluck those really far back because if you don't, it's gonna look like a helmet on their forehead, and you do not want that. So I definitely put that pluck work in, but it didn't even take long. Like this wig, the hair is plucked out so easily. So shout out to BGM Girl Hair. You would not have a hard time plucking this wig. Like the hairs came out so easily. So definitely appreciate that. Um, I'm just cutting out the ear tabs right now. And then we're going to go ahead and, you know, sew it down. You know, the basics, you know, let me just stop talking so much. I'm just so excited. I miss y'all. Like what y'all been up to? You know, let's get active in the comments. Y'all already know we're using the Lace Melt Adhesive Maximum Strength from Miss Beautiful Hustler. This is the only glue that I use currently. The only one. You're going to go ahead and apply that as normal. And y'all, let's just get into that bowel cap. The bowel cap is giving me very much scalp at this moment. <laughs> Period. So you want to apply that and smooth it back as thin as possible and as evenly as you can. And you want to let each layer dry clear before you apply the next layer. And of course, I use four layers because that just gives me the most security to me. So now we're going to lay that lace down because that fourth layer is dry. You want to go ahead and use the teeth of your comb to smooth that lace into the skin. And today I'm going to use my mink little blow dryer just to make sure we go ahead and start that melting the lace into the skin process. You can go ahead and purchase your mink little blow dryer from minklittle.com and tell her Jordan sent you, baby. And then before I tie it down, what I like to do now, I like to spray some freeze spray right on top of that lace, um, especially like where I laid that glue at and smooth those hairs back. This gives you a really melted look, honey. So get into it.
So now we're about to cut that lace off using our eyebrow razor and our shears if need be. And this is where you'll see like where I was talking about earlier when I was coloring the wig that I still ended up coloring the knots red. Um, and you know, I was, you know, kind of sad about that because you know, y'all, I really be wanting my wigs like super flawless, but you know, we as hairstylists, we make mistakes, but you know, it's all about how you finesse it, all about the finished outcome. You know, you just have to still trust the process because best believe this hair still came out banging and slaying. Okay, period. Now look at me, just gonna walk all in my video like she just right. Like, girl, yes, I will hairspray your child hair. Yes, I will, baby. She's sitting up doing it all wrong, scared. Like, girl, give, give me that can. Let me show you how you do it, girl. <laughs> but yeah, that's just me and her middle child, Isis, you know. We was all getting slayed at the shop that day, so you know. It's no problem, honey. Now it's time to section out those baby hairs and then you already know we're going to spray the lace with some hairspray and tie it down with our elastic band. Now we're going to hot comb the hairs that we're going to use for our baby hairs just to straighten them out. And then we're going to curl them with our mini flat irons. And then we're going to take our mousse. Well, before we got to cut them after we curl. We got to cut them after we hot comb them. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. You want to hot comb the hairs, cut them with your eyebrow razor, then curl them with your mini flat irons, then swoop them with the edge brush and the mousse. Okay. Okay. Period. I was going to give her some baby hairs, like, right in the middle of her forehead, but, you know, she already has a low hairline, and I didn't want, like, too much on her face, because, I mean, if we did, if we would have did middle baby hairs, it was literally going to be, like, in the middle of her forehead, and I thought that was just going to be too much, so I was like, you know, let's just leave that, you know, a little scalpy in the middle and just do you some baby hairs on the side, you know, give you a little drama, you know, just keep it simple.
And today we are going for that big defined look, but I did want to go ahead and like define the pattern some. Because, you know, we hadn't combed it out with the plug-in and, you know, the applying the wig. I still wanted the pattern to show even though we was going to wear it, like, big and messy. So, I'm just wetting it down very briefly, really quick. And then while she's up under the dryer with her edges drying, the hair will dry too. And, you know, it'll just all just flow together. And it's nothing but pure water in my Mr. Spray Bottle. So after about 20 to 25 minutes, she is back from the dryer. Y'all see Charm back there making a little entrance. That's Mink's youngest daughter. She's so pretty and sweet. And y'all already know I'm going to comb these baby hairs out and pluck them off camera. You know, I just want to show y'all. And boom, this is the final look. Finesse those red knots and all. Like, give it to them, T-girl. Don't be shy. She was so shy, y'all. <laughs> Once again, this is a 26-inch deep wave wig from BGM Girl Hair. Make sure you check the description box for all the links and information on this wig. I got some surprises coming soon, y'all, for the holidays. Y'all better stay tuned, honey. Talk to y'all later. Goodbye.